As we wrap up our show on the importance of protecting grasslands from woody plant encroachment, I'd like to ask Karen Woodrich and Dr. Twidwell to share some final thoughts on the topic. Karen, we've heard so much today about the challenges of woody, woody encroachment. What would you like to leave our viewers with? I think the most important thing I want to leave the viewers with is the fact that producer-driven, locally-led conservation efforts are what really put things into action and on the ground. We've heard loud and clear this is an important uh, resource concern. This is an important issue for our producers. And working together locally, bringing all of the groups together, tying it to a national framework within the Working Lands for Wildlife effort, and addressing uh, a landscape level initiative is really what's needed. And it's because all of that local work that's being done, um, remembering that the majority is privately owned uh, grasslands, and that's where the action happens. Dr. Twidwell, what would you add? Well, I think we're just seeing for the first time, like the, we've got the information, the desire of producers, the obviously our legacy of rangelands are a threat. And, you know, it's to a biome threat of woody encroachment. So woody encroachment's now being elevated to the scale and discussion of it is not a local issue. It's not even a state issue. At this point, it's, it affects our nation's grasslands. And it's that simple. And obviously prioritizing then, that is the most important thing. It is the leading threat that puts our rangelands at risk in the Great Plains. So that's number one at the top of the list if we're gonna sustain this long term. Our grazing improvements, water improvements, other infrastructure we do, all of that becomes at risk if you get your rangeland and that grazing land collapsing to woody encroachment. So a lot of people think of the risk of drought, right? But drought by definition is not permanent. So uh, even in our worst drought we had recently in 2012 in Nebraska, you know, there was approximately about a 50% reduction and that was for one year. Woody encroachment, you're talking about long-term, 75% loss of production potential, and that's permanent. And it's been done in every state when we see this play out. So it's just such an important risk, and we just fail to act soon enough and prioritize the most important threat to our rangelands. It's key to make that number one, and then the other things start to follow. Well, thank you both, first of all, for making us all aware of the problem, um, making us all aware of the importance of these grasslands, and, and most importantly, the work that you all do with others to make sure that these grasslands are pre preserved for the future. We thank you both very much. Thank you. If you have conservation practices you'd like to put in place on your operation, you should start by visiting with your local NRCS office about the technical and financial assistance they can provide. Go to their website, nrcs.usda.gov, to find an office near you.